All right, I've got a servo set up behind the screen on the charger here, so we can watch that servo horn move on this servo. We're gonna do a couple things here. We're gonna go into some of our extra features on this charger. And we're gonna scroll over to servo test. First, I'll show you the linear test. Uh, this is great for centering your servos if you're setting up a CCPM helicopter or installing some servos in an airplane and you want them centered so that you can find the right horn and spline orientation on so your servos. So come out of the screen now and come over to fixed point test. Now, I've set this to 1170 on the bottom, 1500 is my midpoint, and 1830 is my uh, high point, my maximum. And the reason I did that is when I move my dial here, you'll see that we go to negative 30 degrees off of zero. Mid is zero, and we'll go to 30 degrees on the positive side. But I'll show you where I got that number from in a moment. So let's come off of this screen now and go into the speed test. And it says here only J1. On the side of the charger, there's a J1 port and a J2 port. It says the speed is for 60 degrees. And if you think about the screen we were just visiting, we had 30 degrees to the left, 30 degrees to the right, add those together, that's 60 degrees of travel. Incidentally, if you look at most of your servo specs, um, I have a box here with some servo specs for uh, a servo that I just opened that you see behind that you That servo spec says that at 7.4 volts, this servo should perform at 0 0.055 seconds for a 60 degree travel. If you have a high voltage servo, then the charger does not supply enough voltage, so we have to add the voltage. And, and the J2 port allows us to plug in a LiPo directly into the J2. That will then power the servo and allow us to test it at the rated specs. So I'm going to come down now to test here. So all I have to do is push this button, and you see the servo went to the left and to the right, and our speed reading is 0 0.066. The specs called for 0 0.055. So you can see that this is indeed a little slower than the specs. Let's move this up to 2 milliseconds and test it again, see if we can get a little more accuracy. 0 0.068. 0 0.068. 0 0.066. 0 0.066. 0.066. So that servo seems to be happy as taking its sample rating of 2 milliseconds. This charger is saying that that servo can pull 4 amps. Now, what I'm going to do next is simply unplug my LiPo battery from J port 2 on the side of the charger. And here is the little battery that I was using. I'm going to now run the same test with this high voltage servo at 5 volts. Here we go. And you can see that our speed has slowed down drastically. But also, this is showing that it expects this servo can pull about two amps. And if I plug my LiPo battery back in to J2, and I run the test again, you'll see the increase in not only the current draw from the servo, but also the speed of the servo. 0.66. So I would call this a point zero six servo at 7.4. I'm going to minutes. exit out of here. I'm going to go into the auto clockwise and counterclockwise test. This is basically a servo cycler. I can see this being helpful if you were going to put in a set of servos and before you put them into an expensive model, you just wanted to cycle the servos, uh, make sure you don't have any bad or defective Maybe pots. even use that as a baseline and after you've flown the model for several hundred flights you want to come back pull the servos or at least run some extensions to the servos and see if the pots are starting to wear and again I set this up for a 30 degree range off of center to the left 30 degree range off of center to the right for a total of 60 degrees and right now I have my speed maxed out and I have it set for the counter to run five cycles
and I'm going to start this test and you'll see the you'll see the servo lagging behind the indicator here but that's to be expected. Okay. Now, I'm going to slow this down to its slowest speed setting. And this is probably what I would use if I wanted to check for maybe some worn pots or some dirty pots on a servo or maybe some gear train problems or maybe even some bearing or bent output shaft problems. 